Hey, here's how this works. This is a list of the best free plugins for EDM and house producers. We'll go over the best synths, the best effects, and some very powerful mastering tools. And of course, since we make dance music, the two best free limiters. The song you're hearing now was made entirely using free plugins. We'll go through this Ableton project together, covering 20 plugins in about 15 minutes, and you'll learn how and when to use these plugins so your music sounds more like the pros. And you'll learn how to transform this into this. If you're new here, my name is Soul State, and this channel teaches you the very best music production tips. If you're into that, do me a quick favor, like and subscribe before we get started so you don't miss more great videos. Thank you, I really do appreciate it. First up, UHE Tyrell. UHE are probably the king of analog synth emulations. A lot of other synths, including paid ones, just don't have the same sound quality, especially in the lower octaves, which is why this is the only synth used in this entire video. It sounds analog, it has plenty of sub, and it doesn't have that fake plasticky sound common in low quality synths. Tau Filter 2. This underrated filter plugin is incredibly useful for spicing up your synths. The big feature here is the ability to draw in your modulation, which gives you a lot of extra control. You can further sculpt that filter by toggling depth, resonance, and filter modes. Use this plugin to add movement and make sure the listener doesn't get bored. Tal Chorus LX. This is the chorus from the Juno 106. If you don't know, the Juno 106 is a legend in the analog synth world, and a big part of that is due to its huge chorus. without the chorus, with the chorus. But what's making these two synth layers sound really good is there's a lot of modulation happening, particularly Tau filter uh, on both tracks. This is the first one, and the second. Isotope Vinyl. This basically emulates the sound of vinyl. The warp depth and era options are both really nice to add character to sounds. Try it on vocals, synths, or any sound that could use some old school character. Polyverse Wider. Wider is billed as a way to add mono-compatible width to your sounds. While I haven't found it to be perfectly mono-compatible, since that depends on the sound you feed this and how hard you push this plugin, it is a quick and easy way to add width, much better than the Haas effect, which can totally destroy your phase. Cable Guys Pancake 2. This is a panning plugin which is much more useful for complex panning than Ableton stock auto pan, and the included presets are quite helpful as well. Let me show you what I mean by complex panning. I think it's really cool the way the hi-hat kind of sucks into the sides in a non-linear fashion. So here I have just sort of a droney sound. Panning it slightly with Pancake as well in a kind of random way, which I think fits the drone atmospheres quite well. Valhalla Supermassive. You've probably already heard the name Valhalla. If you haven't, they're known for their reverbs and tons of EDM producers use them. 
No surprise, that's what this plugin is. A reverb and delay, which adds absolutely massive spaces to your sounds. To make this shine, definitely dig into the modulation. OTT. OTT stands for over the top. Love it or hate it, it's here to stay. There's a million videos on it already. So just get it and try it on your synth sounds. And decide for yourself if you like it or not. Camel Crusher. Apple acquired this company a few years ago and unfortunately discontinued it. Thank you, Apple. You can still find this free plugin. It's great for adding character to literally any sound. It's got distortion, a compressor, a filter, a dry wet knob, and overall just a nice tone. Here's how you can use it on a bass. MJUC Junior and the ADHD leveling tool. These are compressors that sound natural, smooth, and musical, best suited for controlling bass and vocals. The MJUC Junior is more simple, and the ADHD plugin gives you more control, most importantly over attack and release. So the first leveling tool Kind of catches those final peaks. Pretty natural. And I'll add in the second one. I mean, it really levels it. It does what it says. Tokyo Dawn Records Slick EQ. You're probably thinking, do I really need another EQ? In this case, yes. And that's for one reason. This EQ includes automatic and surprisingly accurate gain matching, meaning you can make adjustments without being fooled by volume. I wanted more mids out of this bass. They both sound good, but in the mix, one was much better. I'll show you what I mean. So whatever we do, it's gonna automatically compensate. Audio Acoustica Bax EQ. This EQ is modeled after the famous Bax EQ, a popular mastering EQ known for its magical top end sparkle. This particular emulation is made using impulse responses, which sound great, but is also very unkind to your CPU. We added about a dB shelf under 300 Hertz. Really the heavy lifty going on is five dBs at about uh, 2.5 kilohertz and above. It's subtle, but it's so musical. No part of that to me feels like you're boosting a digital EQ. Voxango Span. Yes, this is a frequency analyzer, which at first glance is kind of meh, but this has one advantage over Ableton stock EQ. You can keep it open during the entire project, even as you switch tracks, which is super helpful. For example, you can check if your clap somehow has too much 30 Hertz, which you might not hear on speakers, but you will see on the analyzer. So where I'm going with this is use span for mix translation. While your speakers, rooms, or headphones might fool you, this won't, making it a great tool to double check any decision. Digging into that, what makes this plugin stand out is the hover feature. You can hover over any part of the frequency spectrum to find the frequency and the decibel level of that frequency. The more you use this, the more helpful it becomes. And as you learn what a good mix looks like, you'll be able to see where your mix is strong or weak and adjust as needed. Mm -hmm. 
Waves Factory Cassette. This is a simple tape stop effect. Compared to other similar plugins, this one lets you get very specific with start and stop speed. For example, you can sync the stop speed to the song tempo, or you can adjust the stop speed freely to best fit your song. Streaky Mastering, Smiley. This cool looking EQ adds the typical master smiling EQ curve to your mixes. More smile means more hi-fi, and less smile means more mids. Funny enough, that's how I've been using it to bring the mids out of sounds instead of boosting the top and bottom. Here we're gonna cut out a little highs and lows. So I actually really like the bass before this. But in the mix, I wanted more mids. So. Melda Notepad. It's a notepad for your DAW. It's just a helpful way to write things down before you forget them. Melda Loudness Analyzer. Free or not, this analyzer is just excellent. It really lets you see all the things that are important. Momentary LUFS, average LUFS, PLR, and the loudness range over time. If you're mastering your own music, definitely pick this one up. Melda Stereoscope. This plugin is good for seeing stereo balance. For example, you can see if too many sounds are panned off to one side, or if a single sound has extreme phase issues. See some of those vocal parts are out of phase. I can live with that. Smart Electronics Exoscope. This is an oscilloscope, meaning you don't have to bounce the song to see what the audio file looks like. The most common way to use this is to see if your song looks like a sausage or a dynamic 1970s record. If you're making dance music and you see your song looks like a 1970s record with a lot of transients, you might need to do some more compression and reduce those transients. So this is an example of the dynamic mix. Just huge kick and snare transients. And this is an example of the limited mix. D16 Frontier Limiter. D16 calls this an adaptive limiter, but really it's more useful to add character and tone to your sounds. You can try it on any sound, but I really think it sounds the best on drums. This muffles the kick transient a little bit, but it, it sounds, uh, sounds kind of cool. I also used Frontier on this to add some nice weight and uh, I like the way it, it holds on to the note. Tokyo Dawn Records Limiter 6. Think of this as an all-in-one mastering plugin. This is all the tools a mastering engineer typically uses, compressors, limiters, and a clipper, all in one plugin. It really helps you squeeze a little bit more loudness out of your mix. You still gotta remember, mastering is a skill, not a plugin, so use with caution. Now we're gonna go way over the top with this limiter just to show you how it sounds.
wrap things up, you can make amazing sounding music with these free plugins in any DAW. If you love this video and want to show some love, do me a favor and share this video with a friend. I'm sure they'll appreciate it, and I would too. And if you haven't done so already, like and subscribe so you don't miss more great videos. I'm Soul State. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.